If you're new to the channel, I usually make videos about Irish folklore, storytelling, and occasionally about my fucked up eye. This time, we're not doing that. We're doing another roleplay video, filling in the gaps of another one that Ginny D did, because that seemed to go well the first time. People appeared to like that and enjoy it. So I'm, I'm gonna do the new one. And this one, instead of playing a healer, uh, Ginny was playing a a tiefling villain of some kind uh, who was attempting to 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 seduce no no not seduce really but but to tempt to lure to lure a character over to the side of evil. So I decided I'd like to flip the script on that and play a character just as evil as Augury, if not slightly more evil. The character I played was Leonard Dustus. If you've seen Momo O'Brien's Bothwell video, you've probably seen Leonard here and there, Leonard features. Uh, Leonard is basically what would happen if you took a 1950s educational video and made it into a demon. Yeah. Have fun. You're late. We agreed on sundown, did we not? I hope it's not a habit. Would you normally consider yourself a punctual person? Well, when I'm not left dealing with such primitive measures of time as the position of the sun, see, down in hell, we don't normally see it. Well, let's not waste any more time. I am Augury, of course. My business needs no introduction, I'm sure. And it is best that we not name it. One never knows who may be listening. Tell me, what makes you think you'd be a useful addition to my guard? What makes you so special? Well, I can see your guard as plenty of strapping young people, fully capable of defending you physically. But have you ever thought of your legal defense? If not, then boy, do I have a deal for you. I represent a law firm called Marrowbone and Cleaver. We have expertise in the legal systems of over a thousand realms. This work requires a very particular set of skills, and we'll get to that, but it also requires a certain mindset. Would you consider yourself a moral person? Oh, goodness, no. Hmm. And were you raised with this outlook, or have you come to it on your own? Well, ever since I and the others along with Lucifer fell, we kind of changed our outlook on morality. As death is a necessary part of life, it is also a necessary part of this job. You've killed before, I assume. Please describe your first kill. Oh. I'm not sure I can describe my first, but the first I remember. That would have been one of the angels that remained loyal. I seem to recall ripping off his head and feasting on the insides. How old were you? Oh, I don't know. About... 7,000 years old? What did you feel? Satisfaction. Interesting. Would you say that you believe some deserve to die? And if so, what circumstances might merit such a punishment, in your view? I believe death is something that should be reserved only for the most pure and blameless. Everyone else? They have to deal with thousands of years of excruciating torture. Hmm, and what are your feelings on torture? Well, I did a 5,000 year internship torturing the souls of the damned down in the Seventh Circle. I, I think I'm quite experienced in the subject. Is anyone off limits to you? Women, children, the innocent? No, absolutely not. 
I see. Well, then let's discuss tactics. I am not merely seeking brute strength, although of course that can be useful in its own way. If given the option, would you rather deceive, convince, or threaten someone into doing your bidding, or my bidding? Why choose when I find that the right combination of all three gets the best results? And are you a good liar then? Can you keep a secret? Oh, I never lie. I deceive, but I never lie. I want to be clear with you. I understand that each living being has their own mind, their own beliefs. My goal is not to change those beliefs in you, but simply to identify the cost of overriding them. Money is no object here. I am seeking the very best, and I am willing to pay for it. Let's imagine, just for a moment, that someone bribes you to turn on me, to reveal my secrets. Could you be bought? At Marrowbone and Cleaver, we value the importance of attorney-client privilege. And if they torture you, will you break easily? You'd have to ask my wife Karen about that. Well, I'll tell you in advance. Anything anyone offers you to turn on me, I will double it. Consider it a reward for delivering them to me. Come, it's not all so dark. What about, uh... Errands, chores, are you too good for them? Delivering messages, for example, um, refilling my wine. Let me put it this way. At Marrowbone and Cleaver, our motto is that your heart's desire is our business. You will not be my sole guard, of course. I already have many formidable creatures in my employ. Do you play well with others? I've been on the legal team for hundreds, thousands, probably an infinite number of different cases across all reality. I've never really run into trouble working with others so far. And if you were to identify your main weaknesses, what would they be? Oh, you know, salt, holy symbols, the usual demon things. Interesting. I do like you, I admit it. I find you unique. You would bring something new to my offices, there is no doubting it. What will it take? How much a week to tempt you away from your party and whatever your current objectives are, and bring you into the fold? Keep me in good supply of the souls of the damned and you've got me for life. Right, yeah, okay, so that that was the thing. That was the thing. By the way, 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 if anyone, if anyone wants to make any comments like, I thought you only had one eye, why do you have two eyes? I have an eye disease. This eye just doesn't work very well. I, I so far haven't come up with an eye patch that fits Leonard. I can't come up with one that fits the vibe, the aesthetic. I'm considering just making one with, out of tweed, but Leonard is a character I came up with before I got the eye disease and played before I got the eye disease and, and had cemented pretty well. Ash was as well, but, but it was very easy to come up with something for Ash because Ash is a technomancer. Ash makes stupid shit, so it made sense for Ash. I'm still struggling with it for Leonard. Which may mean that when I'm playing Leonard, I'm just gonna have to deal with being dizzy and shit. Anyway, don't make those comments, or, or I'll beat you to death with your own leg. Right? Understood? Okay. Bye. <laughs>